Thank you, Grace Ahati, for that report. Moving on, the National Drought Management Authority, NDMA, has cautioned against early celebration following the onset of the March to May 2023 long rain season, stating that palpable results in the sector, in the sectors most affected by drought are yet to be realized. In a statement on the drought situation in the country, the Cabinet Secretary for East Africa Community, Arid and Semi-Arid Lands and Regional Development, Rebecca Miano, said, while the onset of the rainy and regional development, I beg your pardon, while the onset of the rainy season is a welcome relief, it does not resolve food security challenges instantaneously. Cabinet Secretary Miano says there is still need for benefactors to continue pooling, pooling resources to counter challenges posed by the drought suffered in recent times until the situation changes for the better. Melissa Od do with that. While the onset of the March to May long rain season, which began in the last week of March, is considered a great relief to many Kenyans who had been battling the severe effects of drought in the recent past due to five failed rainy seasons, the National Drought Management Authority, NDMA, says food security challenges have not been instantly resolved. Man, I love you. This as the government has activated drought recovery plans in all the affected counties as it embarks on building resilience of the affected communities against foreseeable shocks. 21 out of the 23 counties in the arid and semi-arid lands ASOL were marked as most affected by the drought, with the National Drought Management Authority NDMA putting Marsabit and Turkana in the emergency phase. Eight other counties remain in the alarm phase, while 11 are in the alert drought phase. The rest, West Pokot and Tharakanithi, are in the normal drought phase. NDMA, however, says four counties have recorded an improved trend, while four others have worsened due to the delayed onset of the long rains, a situation that is expected to improve as the rains continue in April. Meanwhile, flash floods have been experienced in many ASOL counties as the long rains began in March, displacing people and sweeping away small stock and household items in Narok, Marsabit, Garissa, Isiolo, Mandera, Tana River, Samburu and Turkana. The vegetation condition also showed slight improvement in March compared to February, with the ongoing rains expected to impact positively on vegetation regeneration. However, the rains also brought a number of livestock diseases in some counties despite providing relief to the trekking distances for water. Overall, 4.4 million people in the ASOL counties remain in need of food assistance. CS Miano has therefore urged benefactors to continue pooling resources to counter challenges posed by the drought suffered in recent times until the situation changes for the better. Man, I love you. For Hope TV News Watch, I'm Melissa Odor.